Brush painting for beginners. Um, Christmas is on the corner, so we're going to do a card size subject for um, for holiday. And then today's subject is red cardinal on pine needle. And uh, this is probably one of the most challenging subject we have um, take on so far. And uh, so be patient, and I will tell you a few uh, tricks how we can make it happen. <clears throat> I'm used, going to use a lot of brushes today, not because I need to, it's just with the speed of digital recording that if I don't have enough brushes uh, if I don't wash the brush completely clean, then my color get very muddy. So essentially to separate the brush, I need a, a flow brush, a small combination brush. And that's probably my one of the most important brush. And then the other one is um, a small happy dot or pre-happy dot for the small area. So I have flow, pre-happy dot. And then for um, the tail, the feather, I could have used the flow if you don't have all extra brush like I laying around. Then I wash this brush very clean when I need it. But I will use my twig brush for the wind and then the tail feather so i don't need to wash to make it clean and then i'm using my large pine needle brush for the pine needle the burst set on but if you don't have a pine needle brush you don't want to invest one you can use the happy dot or pre-happy dot to uh, sub so these two are essential if you want to you, if you have time, take your time. Each color when you use, wash it cleanly. These two brush will be, you will be able to um, handle. But if you want to, you can add a pine needle. And um, um, the yesterday we just had a no Tuesday, which is two days ago. We have. Um, Q&A virtual session about brushes. And so if you missed that, please contact us to see you you can get on if you're confused um, about which brushes to use. The color, and I have essentially two red I'm going to use. One is chip bright red and then the other is Crimson Lake watercolor. If you have bright light, I will use the uh, red and then rouge, these two color for your red. And for the feather, and I'm using uh, purple with indigo. So it's like a dark purple. And um, then of course ink on the pine needle, I have bright red, 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 red with um, yellow and indigo to get a lighter green. And then sometimes I might intertwine with some indigo. So these are the colors and, uh, and the paper, which is a very important subject on this. 
I'm using the the fine line paper, but actually I'm doing a Xie uh, Yi spontaneous style. The reason I'm using fine line paper, which is a size shrimp paper, because it doesn't run. And then it will help me to do the beak and the eye area very refinely. And then I'll show you how to do a Xie Yi style on the size shun, gong bi shun paper, which is a shun paper with sizing. All right, we'll get started. So at the very beginning, I'm using my flow brush and I will load the red and then with the crimson lake and then I will blend. Now I will use my pre-happy doll, which is a small brush. You can use your happy doll or any small brush and with ink. And make sure that you dip the tip on the paper towel so the ink doesn't run on you. Then I will do the eye. And then I wash this brush cleanly. And I load some light red, which I have it here. And um, so this is, I'm doing the beak. Lower the broom, the latter part of the beak. Then I'm let this part dry. The red car have a, a black face. But I'm not doing the block right now because it probably will run. So I'm doing the body. This time you can wash your flow brush cleanly and do, do the wing, but in, in my case that I'm using a toy brush. So I loaded some purple with tip ink. And then I'm doing a little bit here. And then I do a little. Doing my tail. Accent it with the purple and ink I had.
So this time I'm going to use my pre-happy dog I had before. And then I'm using the ink. Hopefully that is not going to run for me. So. So I'm sure, uh, I want to make sure my line is not a straight line. So I go in there a little bit. And then I feel the face. It's my red. So we're going to do the ink. Okay, now I'm going to use the my pine needle um, brush that most people are like the small one. I have a happen to have a large one here. So I'm doing the what I call the skeleton of the the ink um, the pine needle So then I rinse my brush thoroughly and I go into my green and indigo. Then I'll fill in some of the black pine needle I had with lighter pine needle. So I'm using some black to, to suggest there is a branch so the bird can be securely sitting on the branch. So um, the red cardinal in meaning is bring in um, luck. So I'm going to write in Chinese calligraphy I'm going to use pine needle brush. The first word I'm going to write is reporting. The second word is fortune. So hopefully this will bring everybody luck and happiness. Happy holiday.
And this is what we just did.